Well, a group of Purdue students fought the elements today to get a balloon in the air. But it's not your everyday balloon. It's a balloon collecting useful data for future engineers. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports on the balloon on the go. We would be uh, happy with sunny and clear skies, no wind. It may not have been the most perfect day. But a group of Purdue University students fought the wind and clouds and got two balloons, one 20 feet in diameter, the other 30 feet in diameter, up in the air. Yeah. The Purdue University Association of Mechanical and Electrical Technologists, or AMET, set off two balloons Saturday to help gather data for a future project. AMET Project Chair Dolan Lyles says the team eventually wants to launch rockets off the high flying balloons. But we have to study the atmosphere, study the conditions. We're going to be dealing with extreme cold. We got to see if the motors are going to start when they're up there, you know lack of oxygen, how that's going to affect it. The balloon launches into the air equipped with a tracker and a camera. Past launches have seen the balloons travel as far as Dublin, Ohio, near Columbus. And Lyles says the balloons get there fast. At about 20 to 40,000 feet, we hit some turbulent air. We get about between 100 miles an hour to 175. The team is made up of many technology and engineering students. A bulk of them are either working on the electrical side or the mechanical side. The electrical people are definitely important because we're the one that does all the coding. Um, they get all the temperature settings set up and all the pressure. Then we had to look into a, a container, uh, had to be able to hold the right amount of weight, stay together on ascent, descent. Once the balloon lands, Lyle says the team heads out to find it. Sometimes passerbyers find it and call the team using the contact information on the side of each balloon. Last uh, week we got a call from Dublin, said there was a strange thing in their tree and they wanted to know more about it. Although Lyles appreciates the help, team members agree it is always more fun to find the balloons on their own. Reporting in West Lafayette, Kelly Roberts, News 18.